an amazing new drug to fight the effects in certain parts of the body has been discovered in a place where many other disease-fighting drugs are found, in the rainforests of Queensland. The drug is derived from the berry of the blushwood tree, the key word here being derived, which means the drug probably has other added ingredients too. Tested already on household pets such as dogs and cats, EBC-46 supposedly kills tumors in the head, neck, and colon. It's interesting that it only seems to work in these particular areas, though, isn't it? No real information has been given as to why it's not effective in other areas of an animal's body and reportedly it works in about 70% of cases. About 24 hours later, the tumor area goes black, a couple of days later you see a scab, and at around the 1.5 week mark, the scab falls off, leaving clean skin with no tumor there. The speed certainly surprised me. Boyle from the Keimer Burgover Medical Research Institute said. Approval was given for human trials but it's been reported that even if successful it is not likely that the treatments would replace chemotherapy, simply because some people may respond better to chemotherapy. These types of issues can bring certain questions and concerns to mind. It is easy to not trust scientists in situations like this. Not that they are dishonest. But what about if the government takes the drug over? Will they allow everyone access? Or will they jack the price up so high that not everyone can afford it like they did with HIV treatments? It's easy to worry about these matters, and the best way to keep up with information like this is to perform plenty of follow-ups. Keep checking on the story every four six months or so surely would be excellent advice. Hopefully. Scientists and any government involved will do the right thing, the morally correct thing for all of the mankind and the physical and mental health of the whole world. I for one am a bit more skeptical, though. I just have a hard time trusting the powers that be. But, hopefully, and perhaps I will be wrong this time. Until we learn more.